Hi everyone and welcome back to the uh, Astro Boat channel. Um, it's been really bad in the UK for astro astrophotography recently, the clouds have been really persistent. But tonight there's a possibility of some clear skies. So I'm not only going to have the observatory open and the main rig running, but I've also got my portable rig. I'm going to show you that now to let you see what I've got, which I move around the garden. And uh, hopefully later tonight we'll have that running as well. And uh, hoping to catch some uh, data on the California Nebula uh, NGC 1499. So this is my uh, portable rig, uh, which uh, consists of a mount, which is the uh, Skywatcher AZ GTI, which has been firmware upgraded, uh, so it runs as an EQ mount. The scope is a Zenith Star uh, 61 by William Optics. It also has um, a 0.861R uh, reducing flattener attached, which I've not used yet. I got that at Christmas, and I'm hoping to use that now. It's all also got a built-in rotator um, I've got a filter wheel with a mono camera there which is the Altair 183M and uh, it's guided by a 50mm uh, William Optics uh, guide scope and the ASI 120mm uh, guide camera there um, and there's also a dew heater controller I'm going to now move in and uh, show you the details a bit closer and hopefully from there we'll go on to a nice evening of some imaging. So this is the AZ GTI which as I say had a firmware upgrade and now runs as an equatorial mount. I've done a couple of upgrades. Um, I've got um, a different saddle on here that also takes uh, Los Mandy plates. Um, just a much higher quality saddle uh, by ADM. Um, very nice uh, than the one that comes with the actual Skywatcher. Um, the bar here I bought from AliExpress. It was about £30. It comes with some weights on the end. Um, and this is a one and a half kilogram Skywatcher weight. So I didn't need too much more weight to get balance. Um, the mounts are capable of carrying about five kilograms. Um, my rig weighs about four. So no problems at all there with the uh, rig handling the weight. Uh, the scope is the Zenith Star Z61. It is um, a Mark 1, because uh, I know they've done a second model of this, but I did buy the upgraded rings uh, for it. Um, it's a much better, um, much sturdier, a much more uh, rigid mount, and also it gives you the saddle at the top there for your guide scope, um, which uh, that's all nice. I did mention the reducer flattener earlier, it's a 0.8 reducer, so it's going to give me, it's going to take it from 360 millimetres to 288, so a nice a wider field of view, and I can get the California Nebula all in with that, even with the 183M, which is quite a small sensor. Uh, the rotator's really nice, uh, just got a locking nut here, and it rotates really got, smoothly in uh, HA03 and RGB in this five position filter wheel so um, yeah tonight I'm not sure what I'm gonna what I'm gonna use must be the HA and the O3 and uh, we'll do an HOO image of uh, the California Nebula with mono I was never going to go with the electronic focusing systems but I must admit now I've got one because of the filter changes and you want to refocus I actually uh, highly recommend these, they uh, work excellent. So, with the um, dew strips, I've actually got a high tech Astro dew controller here, which uh, can take up to four different um, heating elements. So, I've got two dew tapes up here, and I've also got uh, an element for the front of the camera here. Now, when I was chilling to about minus 10, even though the sensor cover has got a heater it was still dewing up and i found that after installing one of these that has completely cured that problem 
nice thing about the uh, four channel Jew controller is it's got two 12 volt DC outputs so one of those I run to the mount and that that gives the mount power you can actually power this mount also via eight AA batteries but I choose to uh, use the power input there and the other power supply from here runs the electronic uh, automatic focuser the power to the camera I have going direct from the power source which I'm going to show you in a second so everything's uh, there I've got my cable management as uh, neat as I can have it and it runs all the way down to a USB uh, hub there which I just got from Amazon nothing special um, it's USB 3 and so I've just got one USB cable coming from the laptop and uh, as I say, I try and keep the cable management as neat as possible. Okay, let me show you the power supply. So to power the rig, I've got um, a Nevada PS08. So this is an 8 amp uh, power supply. I keep it in a box just so we can keep the moisture off it. Um, just cut a hole in the front there so I can get into it. But basically, there's two outputs. You've got the cigarette lighter output here and there's another power output at the bottom here, which I've got these connected to. This is the direct to the camera so I basically bring the camera supply in here and plug them together so that's going to power the camera and then this here pulls through plug straight in and that's the power supply that goes to the high-tech Astro uh, Dew controller which also powers the electronic focuser and the mount just mentioning back about this uh, this upgraded uh, clamp here um, the other nice thing about this is it won't mark your um, dovetail bars as you can see here I've got some bad marks on my dovetail bar that was from the old style which was just a screw that went in and bit into this and I kind of put this on the gold one because I didn't want to ruin it but this could actually go in here and would be a really nice uh, fit without without damaging it but I'm not sure I've got full clearance there so I've left it on the other bar for now um, that might be something I'll look at at a later date anyway there's my portable rig hopefully tonight everything will be working and the clouds will clear more importantly and uh, we'll get some images so I'll see you later Okay, we're ready. Fingers crossed. Get on. Get on. Get on. 